Hello Acron fans and welcome to this patch overview video for version 1.5.3.0. There are a few changes in this patch that are quite notable. The first of which, which is the most obvious, is that now when starting, players start with three resource processors, all species. CISO also starts with an importer instead of an armory. All species now start with three RPs. Also Grekum has a Sepi Faro, and Vekir has their standard starting infantry, as well as three RPs. The idea is to make the early economic game a bit more even so that players aren't scrapping for a few little scraps and you don't end up with this really crazy rush game early on. It was tested on an experimental build and it worked quite nicely. Another big change is in multiplayer is possible to share control of units with other players. As you can see, the red player is currently the enemy, but having shared control, the blue player can control it just fine. But these are the enemy's units. Blue player's units here, as you can see highlighted in green, are its own units, while the red units, the enemies, are still controllable. This is one of the other big new features of this, is sharing commands. And level editor has gotten a few other changes as well. The first one is players can now be set up to, whenever they jump forward in the timeline, they will automatically propagate the entire way through. So basically, anytime you go forward in the time, it's like an infinite speed time wave has just followed up behind you, updating everything up to that point. However, it's extremely CPU intensive, so it's not recommended to have on in standard multiplayer games. The other big feature is the minimap can now be set up to take up half your screen. And although the other half is a little bit hard to see under the interface, but it's really good for seeing broad strokes, your entire map, all the terrain there, all the placements, at least of textures. Not so much elevation, but definitely texture, definitely units and buildings, resource crates, all that stuff. There are also new modding tools available. Once again, around player sharing, but an idea that Hazardous has put forward is having a bunch of units near object causing it to shift control of those units to another player. For example, a bunch of neutral units around a control point. And there are, of course, many other ideas that can come up. There's lots of new modding tools in the change log, which is on the Acron Game website, and you can download this patch from wherever you purchase the game, or from Steam, it'll automatically download. Thank you for watching, and have fun in the game!